Hello and a warm welcome to Art House. On today's edition of the program, we'll be looking at a solo exhibition by a contemporary artist who is revealing his latest works of art, plus a collaboration between two institutions and more. Just stay tuned and details will be coming your way in a moment. I've used my talent as a writer to enable the Ogoni people confront their tormentors. I was not a politician or a businessman. My writing did it. Whatever music you beat on your drum, there is somebody who can dance to it. Contemporary artist Eva Obodo presents packages, an exhibition of his recent works of art at the Art House Space in Lagos. Ngongwo, translated as packages in English, is the title of this solo show at the Space in Lagos, done by Eva Obodo a contemporary artist who is unafraid to delve into experimental waters. Ngugu is a metaphor for life, as I see it. If you look at life, you discover that all about life is about packaging. The way people package themselves, the type of clothes they wear, the way government package the policies they implement. If it is poorly packaged, the public will reject it, the way industries package their products. So everything you do in life is about packaging. And that means we are going to have a lot of meanings coming from different exhibits we have here. What he's showing is the vibrancy of color um, the vibrancy of Africa, shown through the material, shown through the colors that, that we wear, and showing us the beauty in using these materials and, and, and being able to use scrap and make it so beautiful. This artist has a knack for trying something new, and he brings that to his exhibition space, where he uses discarded and found objects to create. In this work, like you see here, which is jute work, titled uh, Python Dance, you look at it as a painting, even though it is a sculpture. So in that means, I have tried to use the basic um, design elements, like line, like color, like uh, um, texture, to make my statement. And in the other one, which is charcoal, or the other series, which is which are charcoal works, you discover that it is similar. The color of the uh, metal wires, the color of charcoal, and sometimes acrylics are used to simulate certain things, certain ideas that you can find within our environment. So in other words, it is not just about sculpture or about painting, it is about statement. I use jute, clothes and thread. And there are some other ones that I have used charcoal and metal wire to make. But the processes are the same. All underwent the process of tying, wrapping, and um, sewing. So in jute works like we have here, you discover that we tied the jute, we wrapped the jute with cloth, and we try to give meanings to different things we can see on the work as related to the kind of things that happen in our environment. In charcoal too, you still have that time processes. Every bit of the charcoal is tied individually. But when you look at the charcoal, apart from the fact that they are tied individually, 
you discover they begin to make references to the human life as an individual, as a family, as a community, and as a nation. Having tied them individually, you bring them to make a composition. But to ardent followers of his art, these pieces may look similar to some of the ones he displayed during his last show, which was about four years ago. It's very naturistic. It uh, embodies what he sees around him, his environment. He's been able to pick up scrap, pick up scrap coal. And, you know, he's progressed in the sense that even with the coal, he adds color to it. So you've got coal, which has also recyclable aluminum, as well as colors. So before it was just black, and now he's infusing the color to make each work look so different and yet so beautiful. And I think the beauty is the vivid imagination he has and how he, he takes his works and twists them and the beauty of the color. This is one of those very uh, distinct kind of shows you can find across this part of the world. Um, I practically had to travel all the way from Potaka just to see this show. Uh, that's because I feel this, this is a must see for every creative person living in Nigeria. The subject is different as it connects the socio-political and economic dots between individuals and their society. But the viewer will have to follow the twists and turns Mr. Obodo creates with his materials to get a clearer picture of the path this artist is leading them. I, I was introduced to him by Ella Natsui, who is, of course, as you know, one of the most famous African artists that lives in the continent. And he used to work out of Insuka. Well, he still um, is no longer a teacher, he's retired. And Eva is also from Insuka, and he's a professor there. So in fact, El introduced me to him. And what I loved about Insuka was the fact that they used all this recyclable material and made works out of them. So they were so creative in that aspect. We have El, who was the first who actually took bottle corks, first started working with ceramic and then with wood and then bottle corks. And Eva has also progressed. He started with jute and then he did coal and then he's now done Ankara on jute and now he's done a different medium which is again Ankara and jute but again all recyclable materials which is what we find so fascinating and the intricacy of this work is something that one really has to look at because there's so much detail and there's so much hard work in each and every one of his works. I live in an environment and what happens in the environment affects me. So however it affects me determines the way I work my material. So whatever influence in, the, in terms of creative exploration that I have can be um, linked or connected to the, um, the, the material. In terms of the method, there are some artists that have worked before me, especially El Anasu. He had been my mentor and uh, I had worked with him even as a studio assistant to him and he discovered that there is no way his um, ideas and um, techniques will not rub off on mine. So these are obvious influences. There are some other artists anyway that are not mentioned here. But I have tried as much as possible to make a way to create my own language and that is what I am now showing here.
Iva Obodo is a multimedia visual artist working across painting, sculpture and mixed media. He has participated in several exhibitions and is currently a sculptor as well as an art education lecturer at the Department of Fine and Applied Arts, University of Nigeria, Nsuka. We also have the works of art you sent in. These are the ones selected this week. Afterglow is an oil on canvas work. The artist says it's a panoramic view of the street of Lagos after a heavy downpour, where movement on the street become limited. His color usages and sky depiction is related to how happy and sad people are complaining about the climate change. The sky talks about how confused and sad some people are when it starts to rain, while for others is joy. But the colors and the lightning shows how happy and calm others are, especially the little children that have fun and bathe under the rain. Then Adelani Adesonya has this work of art, he said he did it with pen and charcoal. Don't forget to tag your soul is a work of art done by Godswill Chima using several materials, found objects like foam, eyeglasses, rubber, a wine cock and hooks on wood. Then Bosse de Okewo has this one she calls Superwoman. It's an image of the Vice President's wife, Mrs. Dolapo Oshimbajo. It's done with pencil on glossy cardboard. Tosi Ajayi has this charcoal crayon and newspaper on canvas piece called Future Hope. The artist explains that every child should be treated like a child no matter their circumstance or appearance. Let's teach them love and not discriminate against color, tribe, culture, religion or language. Teach the children the way they're supposed to go so that when they grow up, they will not depart from it. Shem Baba has My Culture, My Pride is an oil on canvas piece showing a woman carrying firewood when she's returning from the farm. Sandra Gabi has Tolerance and Ink on Paper work, which she does with ball pointillism, a new technique she's trying out. And those are the works of art you sent in this week. We encourage you always to keep them coming, put your best foot forward and the right information beside that work of art. Coming up on the program, two Nigerian universities and their foreign counterparts from France work together. You will see the result when we return. Stay with us.